What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Griffland. All right, day five. Negotiation, negotiation battle. Uh, we got lots of stuff. Make sure to keep our health high. They're about to murder each other. Let's convince you to stop. I think you're both exactly the same. Steal two cards from me? How dare you? All right. So what do we want to do? We want to... We have four actions. We don't want to play this. We... The real question is, because this is, this is gone. Nothing we can do about that. Would we rather have a lot of draw or a lot of actions? I think we would rather have a lot of actions. So that we can play everything that we draw. And now that we have that decided, the question is... Well, there is no question. We can't play you, because we only have one influence. We can't play you, because it's not worth it. I'd much rather keep the little bit of influence that we have. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Got lots of auto attackers going out there. We've reached the point where our deck just does stuff and we're like, alright. We can apply a ton of bait. Okay. And then we protect it by removing this card. Now, we want to gain a ton of... Let's protect our influence. Gain either influence or dominance. There you go. We could double it. Okay. And the question is, do we spend it all? 19 times 2 is 38. Not quite lethal. Not quite lethal. Let's let's hold off. We'll get you closer before we break you. Oh, we have cards going off. The engines are revving. The engines are revving. All right. I love level orange clearance. It just makes the turn a whole lot simpler. You're doing no damage to us. You fool. So, do we want to gain dominance first? Is there anything else that we could gain? <clears throat> no. So, let's add heated. Get this out of here. Get a bunch of auto attackers. Play you. Could be anything. Could even be composure that we don't need. That's fine. You know what's not fine? This straw man. Does removing it count? You know what? Let's remove the vulnerability instead. Give us a bunch of actions. And with these actions, we can play the rest of our hand. So, destroy this. Spend influence to gain dominance? Not necessary. But might as well. Not enough actions. How dare you. How dare you punish me for not counting and just playing my cards. Considering the battle run. Which it is. I mean, just look. Just look, look at what's happening. That gives us influence. We, have, we just have things happening all the time. It's exhausting. Protect you. We don't need this. We don't need a lot of this stuff, actually. Just swing for face as much as you can. Let's draw some cards. If we draw... Nope, not what we wanted. We wanted the card that spends all our influence, but... It's okay. Because you're two away from death and... Half the cards we draw create auto attackers anyway. Oh, I think you stole one of them. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's over. Good deck. Somewhere in there, there's a good deck. Let's not mess it up. So, cause zero or also draw a card. Let's also draw a card. Gain three dominance or this cause zero. How about. How about we gain three dominance? Not the biggest fan of that card anymore. 
Oh, it's okay. So, turn one. We have influence. We are taking 11 to the face. Let's, let's stop you right there. Alright? We don't take 11 to the face. I don't know who you think I am. That's not how things work here. We can double our one influence to two. That doesn't sound like a good use of our time. So let's play this. Gain bonus actions next turn. Can allow us to do a lot of interesting stuff. I know the vulnerability is dumb. We're gonna hurt. But two influence is the start of something. It's the start of something. So. Play a random card. We're drawn. We're drawn, we're drawn, we're drawn. Game through composure. Protect all your arguments. We're set, we're safe. Spend one influence. Might as well. That's what the influence is there for. Alright. Now. What do we want to do? We are good on draw, so we don't need boosted mind. We would like a lot of defense or composure, but we don't have the influence for it. Unless we do this, now we can create heated. Plenty of auto attackers. All right. There is a lot of setup in this deck, but once we get going, we don't even have our bait out yet, so we're, we're good for a bit. Okay, you're destroyed. You're destroyed. Let's gain more? Influence for composure? No. The first thing we want is bait. There you go. Now we're safe. Now, let's go ahead. We have no negative statuses on ourselves. Gain more influence. We can go for face. Go for face. Go for face. We don't want this to go off because we don't want you taking our money. So instead, gain a little bit of dominance. Ah, oh, dang it. Took my money, dude. I wonder how dense this wheel can get. How absolutely stacked can you become? Gain three smarts? How about gain six smarts? How about we're so galaxy brained? You don't know what to do anymore. Spend one influence to gain three dominance. All right, let's let's think for a moment. You're gonna get destroyed. So, applying composure is a good move. Now, we could spend influence to gain dominance, or we can hit you, get you closer to dying, which sounds real good too. Uh, you're definitely dead next turn. We just need to make sure our health stays high. And it's so high, it's capped off. No, absolutely not. Cost one less. Keep it real cheap. Or make it real hard hitting because it's always going to be cheap. Thanks for the shills. Fish pulls you aside, hits all enemies, apply two impair, or apply one impair, replenish the strength to use it. No, 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 no. Our hand gets full pretty often. Let's see if we can draft some attacks. No. These are not the attacks I'm looking for. These are not the attacks I'm looking for. What the heck? Sino Trainer would be good, but we don't have enough attacks. We're not guaranteed to have one guaranteed to happen. Now, you could say that it makes the cards that we have more valuable, 
But I don't think, I think our draw is weak enough that we can't count on it. Now, what do you have going on? Receive a free RPG? No, thank you. What do Sru got going on? You sleepy and experience? Too late for that, my buddy. And what do you have going on? You know what? Thanks. Start of each battle, be a little bit stronger. If we get the card that removes, and we have many, we get the card that removes a debuff, then that's a permanent power up. All right. Hey, how about you join my side? Who are you trying to kid? What do you mean my negotiation skills are the best? Also, nothing you say matters. So we have a free setup turn. Unfortunately, wait a minute. There you go. Now we have plenty of influence for the future. Plenty. Should have just played this. That was. That was a bad play. Don't you plant that garbage on me. Let's see what's happening here. You need to get hit. We have the means to guarantee that. So goodbye. Gained a bunch of influence from that. Let's get smart. And let's... Do you want to spend all the influence? Yes. I think this will be fine. Because we're going to hit you. You're going to choose a new target. As long as it's not the planted evidence, we're fine. Yeah, it's our face. Not an issue. Okay, let's get some bait out there. We want to... What are you doing? You're attacking the bait only. Of course you are. We can protect it very easily. Let's just let's just play cards. Don't don't need to overthink it. Protect you for the rest. You can remove that card. If you have good decks. They're just too fat, too thick. Getting hit for six, not a big deal. By the way, look at all these auto attackers. By the way. Look at all the dominance. Protect everything. And we're drawing a bunch. Alright, alright. So, destroy this card. Makes everything a lot easier. We... You have 10 damage coming in. You are dead. What would you like to give us? Whenever you expend a card draw, duplicate target, bounty, or inception, attack once for each available action. This might be okay, but I think I'm okay. What are you two talking about? Uh, you're dead, dude. You're dead, dude. Now, a free power-up sounds fantastic. You're free, so definitely play that. We want to defend, draw a card, remove a random debuff is perfect. Because now, that power up is permanent. We had one in our hand already. So be it. Let's improvise. We typically want to improvise the stun. Well, let's draw some more cards first, since we have so many actions. There you go, free stun. This card is free as well. Get two cards, that will be a free. And then, you know, I think we want to remove this card. So we'll play it. This would be a good card to, uh, or good condition to have removed. But uh, we're playing it just to get out of our deck. Because, like I mentioned, our deck is too big. It's a too big. So, defense. We don't necessarily need it right now, but it will be fantastic for the future. That's 36 damage. We have lethal. So, let's not stress about it too much. Fight's over. Combo points. Nope. 
Calamity Jar upgraded. One action and draw an extra card at the start of your turn. That's fantastic. No. No thank you. No thank you. Leave the, the loop. We're dangerous, I know. I know, you keep giving us garbage status cards because nobody can surrender. Fish pulls you aside, I got something for you, kid. Remove a negotiation or increase max health by 5. I think we're almost done negotiating, so let's increase max health. Yeah, we have one coming up, it's not a big deal. Uh, 219 shills. Do you have anything in particular that we like? Nope. We've already checked you. And what was your thing again? We don't know. So, let's go ahead and share a drink with you, since you may disappear after this. Not what we want on this run, but you could be really useful in the future. Unfortunately, you don't have the shills for it. What's your name? Tark, if we see you after this, we'll be sure to pay for it. You arrive at the battlefield. This is self-defense. Objective, survive, right? Yep, fight the battle. All right. Turn one, we have six actions. Whenever you play a card, gain defense. Don't mind if I do. Now, let's improvise. Oh, here it is. No need to improvise. Let's remove this combat drone. And then we'll improvise a bunch of other cards instead. Such as the ability to stun an enemy. Such as who is hitting us? Auto dog? Can auto dogs be stunned? They can. There you go. Now we're taking nothing. We will remove a random debuff. Permanent to power up. Let's improvise this bleed card. You guys are definitely immune to bleed, so we'll just hit this one. Now we did split up our damage a lot, but it was a setup turn. We send an enemy, bought us time. Now. Whenever you improvise a card, hurt a random enemy. This is free. So let's get lethal on you. Six damage over here. We are taking 12. We have the means to protect ourselves from it. And then let's get closer to cycling through, remove the dog, keep our deck then. Alright, we always want to play our power cards, or we always want to play them first, definitely. We're taking 10, we have one wound. Who's hitting us? A dog. So, we can just remove them. Let's try to improvise a card first. That's a good get. We'll use it on him. Remove the bad boy. It, who's a bad dog? You are. Absolutely destroy him. And we want to have our deck as clean as possible because the boss fight's coming up real soon. Hopefully, we'll enter the boss fight with full health as well. We don't have our power-up attack in hand, so we'll go after you. We still don't have it in hand. Do we have attacks in here? We do. So, kill you. Draw two, what's free? The ability to improvise an attack. Let's actually improvise this play these cards first just to build room and then draw everything you're already dead just end your turn now I still think we have too many cards in our deck combat drone cards cost one additional action that's fine we don't summon drones whenever you attack game combo no thank you targeting core no thank you I'll be going now. Thanks for the 100 shills. Okay, we can kick your butt very easily. 
let's first remove card from our deck. What do we need to remove? The draw a card defense. No bloody daggers. It is an attack, but it's just not good for us. If this card is improvised, double its damage. No. I mean, we want it, but not. We don't really want to pay for it. It's not. It's not great. <clears throat> we actually have one more. I miscounted. So let's provoke you. All of these insult cards are bad. They're real bad for our deck, but it's okay. Sorry, we'll we'll make it work. Let's get a bunch of draw. We're taking no damage this turn, and then I think that's it. I think that's all we want because we don't want to play the insult. It's very much not what we do. So, fly bait gain a bunch of influence or dominance that works too we want to apply composure play a random card what could it be oh good 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 cost one let's for each influence you have let's how much influence do we have we have two all right you're surviving just barely Now, dangerous in hand. With dangerous in hand, we are in a little bit of trouble. We could just play it so it does more damage. First, let's destroy this. Don't take my shits. Alright? And destroying that caused our evoke to go off, which gave us influence, which is great. We are pretty much done playing hostility cards. So let's destroy it. And let's spend one to play you for free. Yeah, we could do a lot to trim down our deck, but it works for now, especially considering we draw so much. Uh, you're going to destroy our bait. Let's prevent that from happening. We will protect it and remove one of these. And then we will... We don't have a lot of damage in hand, which is okay. There's actions for next turn. There's influence for the future. There's... We have plenty of draw, we don't really need much more. So we'll hit you. We have plenty of dominance, so hostility cards, when we choose to play them, are pretty strong. They are, are pretty strong. My ability to speak is going away. Protect your bait, remove cards, go off on your enemies, gain dominance first. And you know what? Let's gain more dominance first. Should be almost there. You're impatient. Our auto attackers have you. That's what we're fighting now. You don't stand a chance. You really shouldn't be here. Now we still have a bunch of actions. Let's gain defense. Draw a bunch. We have enough de defense to make whatever you do irrelevant. So just hit her, I guess. And then, what random card do we want? Let's wound you. 
next turn, you're basically guaranteed to be real messed up. Even if we play that hand in the complete wrong order. Now, you don't help. Yeah, don't help. It's, it's a good card. Slowing the enemy is good. I know I have a thing against items right now, but I think it's worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and go on this rescue mission. Wait a minute. Wasn't there. The bleed guy left. That's what happened. And we already spent money on removing a battle card. Alright, alright. Get me out of here. Ferg's captors. Operation Rescue Ferg. How is our battle deck doing? Everything is upgraded except for Boulder Stance, which is fine. And our negotiation deck is also doing fine. So let's just use our functional diplomacy deck to save our friend here. Protect. King Dominance. Thank you. Attack. Which means you'll get hurt because you have no damage coming through. Now, what do we have here? We can either gain a lot of smarts or a lot of dominance. We are already gaining a pseudo dominance, so let's get smart. Apply composure. End of turn doubles damage. Okay, you're not the one I was thinking of. So, we can guarantee you get destroyed by boosted appeal. So we'll just go over here instead. Ah, they attacked a crafty. Stop. Please stop. Crafty Plus is just a really good, really good card. Okay. Doesn't matter what your intentions are, now you do nothing. Since you do nothing, we'll hit you a bunch. Since we're hitting you a bunch, let's draw a bunch in the future. Look at all that influence we got. He has Snare, what the heck? When did that come out? Why do you get to attack? What's happening? Okay. Too much auto attack. So, delete this cat. Alright. We can just protect everything. Now, Nothing is being destroyed. If we can protect some more, that would be great. Alright, three composure on two random friendlies. No, let's get it directed on our ability to draw. Do we spend influence to maintain dominance? We have three damage here, and we'll take a gamble. Alright, it was a pretty bad split. It's a pretty bad split, but they're dead. I don't need this. Thanks for the shills. It was all just a job, don't thank me. Now, going into the final battle. We're at full health. You, do what? War Machine, I'll learn eventually. You, do what? Bonus damage on the first attack. You know what? I'll take it. Okay, it's better than nothing. Probably. What's your deal? Papers? I'm not drinking twice. 
I'm not drinking twice for you. Got anything for me? Gain one power, replenish. At the cost of one, I don't like it. Is that weird? You know what? Send me. I should have hired somebody to come with me. That was a... That's a pretty big oversight. It's been a while since I got to the end of a brawl run. <laughs> Let's... What are we doing? You do nothing on this turn. You're gonna summon a bunch of stuff next turn. So, let's get ahead of it. Let's get ahead of it. Remove your intents. Doesn't do as much since you already got them out. You're hitting everything for 47. Do we have 8 damage? We do. So stuff goes off. You get out of here. Remove your intents for the future. Do we gain dominance or do we gain influence? Let's try to destroy it. There you go. So you lose a turn. We have six actions. So let's double up on the draw. Let's gain some dominance. Play a card. Spend all our influence. Improvise a card. Gain bonus actions the next turn. Sure. And you're gone. You know, any turn where you play your whole hand doesn't feel that bad. Alright. Do we have bait? We do. We do. But bait isn't that good against you because you create an argument that just attacks everything. So, we could instead apply 4, apply 6, now you're surviving. Get real heated. Let's not play bait at all then. Gain influence. You're free now. Might as well destroy you. Do we want dominance for the future? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Sure. Alright. You have nothing coming out. You have 10, com 10 damage coming in. So you're gonna join us. Thanks. You find your target. What's up, Cashio? What's up, Cashio? Play you immediately. Draw two cards. Power is exactly what we were looking for. Okay, you're not hurting us this turn. Whenever he gains a debuff, he heals three health. Deal one damage back at the enemy when hit. Wait, wait a minute. At the start of every second turn, they gain counter. Got it. So, gain defense. Draw a card. Improvise an attack. Let's improvise. We have a lot. So we'll start there. Play this early. What's in here? No attacks. Do we have any draw? We don't. So hit him. We don't want to play this yet. Remove it, the debuff. There you go. Almost forgot. Okay, now you're going to buff yourself again. But you're impaired, so that's a little hard. Five actions means I should have done that in a different order. Let's improvise an attack. He does have counter, but we don't need this to be a flawless fight. You brought in a big ol' robot, you jerk. Alright. What do we have in our draw pile? An attack. Good to know. So, let's improvise it.
hit you. Definitely gain power. Gain a little bit of defense. Alright. And then, we're getting hit for four. We have five block already. You don't have counter this turn. With no real attacks in hand other than enhanced backstab we're waiting to improvise it. I think we just destroy our tipsy. Alright, you got killed by draw, which is incredibly insulting. To you. I mean, I don't, I don't care. Let's wound you. I feel like this could be a big turn for us. Play you. Now. We have cards, we do. So let's improvise one. We'll improvise the ability to draw a bunch more cards. And you know what? Let's let's wait a little bit longer. So we can cycle better. And are you ready for this? Would you look at all that draw? 13 to 15 damage is not quite there. Now we may be holding on to it for too long, but this battle's won. Somehow, somewhere, our deck became really good. Which feels great. Just creating space in our hand. Let's improvise an attack. There you go. Here it finally comes. 48 to 54 damage, which is actually 54 to 60. Goodbye. Quick little backstab. Oh, you take one note. Your friends of Cashio, get out of here. Upgrade our battle stance. Now we have a perfectly upgraded deck. Upgraded all of our graphs. That's real nice. We don't need that. Thanks for the shields. You win, you bet I do. We don't we don't need it. Thanks for the shills. Alright, and that's another Brawl run in the win books. Brawl win in the books. There you go. That's how that phrase goes. Now, we both a prestige. We already have everything else unlocked. Cool. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.